Okay, it's time for us to start our own Mary Blair inspired castle collages. Isn't she a cool artist? So we have I have two printouts from our slideshow so we can think about these shapes that we've noticed and we learned about organic shapes and geometric shapes and we're going to try to include some of both of those in our, in our collages. So this is going to take us a few days. We are not going to finish this in one day. So we're starting out kind of with our basic castle shapes here on our paper. And we're going to actually use black paper to glue our colors on. We're going to use lots of nice bright colors. And we can see a good way to start out. If I'm looking at the background shapes of some of these are probably with squares and rectangles and triangles. So if we start with that and then on top of these, we can think about layering on and adding some of these other interesting shapes to add some details with. And we probably won't get to that on our first day. So we have our black paper, nice big sheet of black paper, and we have scissors. We might have liquid glue. We might have glue with a paintbrush. And we have scraps. We have lots of scrap paper, plus extra boxes of scraps if we need them. And so some of these pieces in here, we have these little stars that have been cut out, and we're going to get those when we're getting a little bit closer to being finished, where we can add some of those on for details. They're not out yet. Um, but we have these leftover pieces that might actually come in handy, too, to make some designs or maybe for finishing details, too. We'll see. So let's think first about if we were going to add in our basic castle shapes. I'm going to put this kind of here. I think that's not really in the way of getting started. So this could actually start out being a part of the castle right here. Or if I want it to be smaller to add more colors, I can cut that in half. We're not going to worry so much about making perfectly straight lines. If you really are worried about that, you're welcome to use a ruler to draw your lines. But I'm just going to cut this in half. And I'm not going to glue anything down yet. I'm just kind of getting some pieces ready so I can lay those down there. And so, I have a red here. Let's just cut that one in half, and we'll see if that matches up if I was going to put this on top of here. That's a little bit wider, so if I wanted it to be perfectly aligned with this, I could trim it a little bit. What I could do if I really wanted it to be perfect, my green is a little bit narrower. I could layer the green on top, and then I could cut that little edge off. And that this might be a nice little piece to save to be a detail. So I could put that back in the scrap box. So those could line up a little bit more to start a castle. And I might not want them exactly alike, but maybe I could reverse that and have something like that. Or this could be over in another part of the paper. I'm, again, I'm not going to stick anything down yet. So look at this. This is a piece that was recycled from something else. If I want to cut out a triangle, look, I've already got a triangle right there. I could snip this off. And if I want that to fit, actually, this might be a nice one since it's kind of skinny it, to be on a narrower part. But I could still snip that out and have a triangle ready that I could add on. Let's see, these are hard to pick up, but that could be, I could think about saving that to be top of a castle. If I wanted to make another triangle here, I wanna think about how the paper's already shaped. If I needed a wider triangle, really wide one, I could think about cutting across there. If I wanna make a narrower triangle, I might, and you're welcome to draw things first if you want, but let's see if I take advantage of this. And you know what I'm going to do? So it's the same on both sides. I'm actually going to fold this. I'm going to fold this in half. And so my straight side is right here. And I'm going to 
cut that. And if I open this up, then my triangle is the same on both sides. That might actually be pretty close fit, just about right for that. So you can see I'm kind of just cutting some pieces to have them ready to use. And that also starts to form a little triangle. I might think, hmm, that might come in handy. I'm gonna snip that off and keep that one too. And then you can see, you can see I'm not creating a whole lot of waste because I keep noticing that I have these triangles that I could cut out that might work to start forming my castle. You can see we're gonna need a lot of colors and papers. Here's a nice orange that's already there. And I could use that because I could think about maybe I'm gonna have all kinds of other cool designs on top of this. So it's not just one long strip of orange, or I could cut it smaller if I wanted. This tall triangle that we had from before might be a good fit for that. And so on our first day, here's our plan. We're gonna have our black paper so we can kind of start getting an idea of how this is gonna work. And then we're going to just start cutting out some rectangles, some triangles, some things to start our basic castle. All of these little designs that you see, all these diamonds, all these cool organic shapes that we see on here, we're not worried about that on our first day. Those are gonna be layered on top once we've got kind of our big castle just laid out on our paper. So, I might not be ready to glue anything on the first day. So what I'm gonna do, if it's clean up, I'm gonna gather my pieces up. You are going to have a baggie. I will give everybody a baggie. You're gonna put all your pieces in your baggie. And then you're gonna put your, make sure your name is somewhere on your black paper. You can write your name on your baggie with a Sharpie. And then tomorrow, or whenever we work next on these, You'll pull your work out. You can start attaching things if you're ready. You might need to cut more, but we're gonna do this a little bit at a time. 